This is the home of Australian rugby. This is where rugby was, was born in Australia. And as a kid growing up playing rugby on the Northern Beaches, um, I always wanted to play for the Waratahs. Didn't, didn't even think about going anywhere else or, or, or have ambitions of playing anywhere else. It was always about representing New South Wales. I guess one of the great pressures of, of playing for the Waratahs and, and being based in Sydney is that level of expectation and, uh, and having the ability to back it up. And the level of passion that the guys are going to play with uh, is going to be enormous on the back of the expectations of the new coach. And Michael Checker is going to be great. I, I think that he comes from a background of passion. Um, you know, the way he played the game, obviously the teams he's coached in, in Ireland and then in, in, in Paris. Given the talent of the guys on the field, if they play with that passion, then you know, success will follow. I don't think you can underestimate the significance of the Lions two years. Guys might play for 10 or 11 years and miss out on playing against the Lions. Probably compare it to a World Cup and, and in a lot of ways it's, it's, it's a harder tour than playing in a World Cup because you're playing at that high level week in, week out. Um, you know, whether you're representing the Waratahs or, or Australia A and then the Tests, it's just at such a high level and, uh, and such focus uh, around the world. Um, on, on who's winning and, and who's performing. So you know, for, for a player, it's similar to, to competing in the World Cup. In the level of intensity played week in, week out, I, I believe, and, uh, and again, perhaps I'm a little biased, but I believe that the Super Rugby competition is the toughest in the world.